cool about this cheese is its name, the Shabishu. Not only is it, not only is it fun to say, but it's uh, it is a root word in Arabic for goat because it was actually the Arabs that brought goats to the Loire Valley. Mm. Yeah, and when they and when they got there, they were like, "Whoa, this is perfect. We're gonna stay here and we're gonna make goat's milk cheese." Goats and sheep were domesticated thousands of years before cows. Different uh, than your typical cow and sheep milk cheese is that the fresher the goat's milk cheese is, the more goaty or like barnyardy you're going to get it. So these aged cheeses like the Chagrin, even this uh, the Lisa Poitou, did you guys find that to be very goaty? No. I mean, it's got a little bit of that tang, but it's almost more creamy. Whereas your fresh chev, like these medallions, those are going to be that traditional chev, like pop that a lot of times people don't really enjoy because they don't like that flavor of goat. So you have to expose them to different styles of goat cheese. This one, the Tome of Grandmer, the truffles. Oh, has bring it, bring it. Truffles. Okay. Uh, right down the right center down. of the cheese, Ooh, as you can see. There goes baby. Yeah. Um, so you like, if you, you like don't like goat cheese, you're probably still gonna like that one because it's really, really good. And I'm gonna make a quick little appetizer for you guys in a little bit that Ooh. uses that cheese. Yay. A little bit of uh, sliced grass-fed beef tenderloin, oh. just on a toast. Oh. Simple, simple, simple. I don't like to complicate things uh, too much with these cheeses because they are so wonderful. Like I was talking about 